How's it going everybody? It's Mr. C. I hope you enjoyed the small video. Now let's go over the skilled trees. Starting off with the green tree, I didn't really need anything in tier one because of the way that I'm playing this build, but brain freeze is a good pickup and I'm definitely going to need the bubble for the setup. So you want to pick something like all rounder and then the augment is your choice. Now going over the purple tree, I took five out of five in mana focus. However, if you want to take some in deja vu, you can, that's really up to you. Five out of five in headsman's hand because it stacks twice and it's a hell of a crit bonus. Five out of five in commitment for obvious reasons because it's one of Zane's best. I didn't take any in fugitive because quite frankly, it's hard for me to aim and shoot with fugitive, but it definitely synergizes very well with violent speed and violent momentum. Five out of five in domino effect for the added fire rate and reload speed bonus two out of three in sheer will because i'm gonna need as much action skill cooldown rate as possible with this setup now moving on to eraser this is obviously one of his most broken skills 120 percent damage per pierced enemy you can do crazy things with it and then while aiming down sights 25 percent bonus damage from our man flint took proliferation for the augment colder shoulder for the higher freeze rate and obviously the mantis shoulder cannon to spam the crap out of it now going over to the blue tree we took five out of five in violent speed and we will be taking five out of five in violent momentum these are all pretty much the same skills that most people take violent momentum obviously scales a lot higher than it's shown on the card one out of five in salvation for my healing Three out of five in cool hand to get down the tree a little bit farther. Took C in red for the added effectiveness to my skill skill bonuses. Five out of five for the fire rate and violent violence. Now I took three out of three in good misfortune because this build does not use the seeing dead or the spy class mod. So I'm going to need as much duration return and action skill buff as humanly possible because I will not have the same effectiveness as I would with, say, like the Spy or the Seeing Dead. Four out of five in playing dirty for the extra projectile chance and the blue capstone. Now, going on to the red tree, I took two out of three in pre-minutus, or however the hell you say that. Three out of five in borrowed time. If you didn't want the mag size, you can definitely switch it over to five out of five in borrowed time. And then one out of five in duct tape mod for the splash immunity. Now going over the gear setup, the weapons is entirely up to you and the anointments as well, but you're going to want to take the revolter shield, hence the name Terror Revolter, and the anointment you're going to want on it is on action skill end, apply terror for a certain amount of seconds, and that will stack up to three times. The grenade I took here was a level 27 mesmer while terrified gained damage and fire rate which is a huge bonus and quite underrated in my opinion. Also for the shield, you're going to want triple fleet to get as much movement speed to exploit the violent momentum bonus as humanly possible. Now, I took the infiltrator class mod with five points into violent momentum to once again exploit the speed slash gun damage bonus as much as humanly possible. Now, for my relic, this is entirely up to you. You could use the victory rushes the snowdrift the icebreaker uh, i wouldn't recommend the pearl because he already stacks a humanly godly amount of gun damage so i would go with something like the cut purse launch pad which is what i have equipped in slot currently because he burns ammo like crazy and now usually with zane's builds you do not have to take as much good fortune or borrowed time that i do in this setup now, the reason being is that I'm not running the Seeing Dead where you basically just have to fire a gun and you will be able to get your kill skills and keep your kill skills up. As well as the Spy Class mod, it does the same as long as you're spamming the Mantis Cannon. I need that added bonus in order to keep my barrier up for an indefinite amount of time. Now, the barrier is your lifeline because your shield is basically going to be down the entire time. However, with the Terror mixed with the Triple Fleet, which is also really good because Violent Momentum, like I said, scales a lot higher 
than it is shown on the card. Proccing the tear, proccing the 200% shock bonus and 50% bonus fire rate you get from the revolter at basically at will allows you to get a substantial damage bonus as well as fire rate bonus. I do not know the actual numbers at uh, full terror stacks, but it is something around, I think, 40% fire rate and damage, but don't hold me to that. So basically, you're going to get the most DPS after you spam the cannon, so you're going to want to be doing that constantly, which is not out of the realm of, you know, playing with Zane normally. Other than that, the the type of skill spread that I have, it some of the skill points could be switched around. You basically just want to take the blue capstone. You're going to want to get his damage skills. You're going to want to get some skills in the purple tree, like our man Flint and Eraser and Commitment. All these are great skills. In my opinion, they're a little broken. But that's a story for another day. And I hope you guys like the build. I haven't made a Zane build in a while, and I definitely tried to make something that was somewhat out of the realm of his meta, which is typically just the seeing dead, or like the Annie freeze if you want to get like one shots and run and jump and fire rocket launcher and so on and so forth. And as for the anointments, I'm running next to Mags just because he doesn't have a lot of elemental damage bonuses. He has a ungodly amount of gun damage bonuses, so mixing it up a little bit and adding, uh, you know, like an extra elemental damage source is, is pretty substantial on a build like this. Plus, you can keep those next two mags bonuses you get on your guns up with spamming the Mantis Cannon. You could take something like ASA while active, 100% damage, but I think next two mags would probably be the way to go. I haven't experimented much with the barrier crit anointment, which was recently buffed, but I think with something like the Maggie, which has multiple pellets and a high crit bonus already, you could probably get a good amount of DPS out of that one. And I'm sure you can get a little more DPS out of it with a bunch of other weapons with that anointment. Other than that, that's pretty much the build video. Just got to remind you guys, walk, walk while shooting rock that revolter stack the terror stacks up to max and everything is definitely gonna melt if you like the video please hit the subscribe button hit the like and all that lovely stuff and i will catch you guys in the next one have a good one everybody take care